Welcome to the digital how-to series. Today I'm going to explain about paid media. Specifically I'm going to be concentrating on the Google Ads stack. One of the biggest mistakes we see when people plan media is they don't think too much about their audience's behavior. So let's start with a really simple question. Where does my audience hang out online? Well, annoyingly, they hang out everywhere, like everybody else. So to think about your normal search behavior, that could be anything from uh, looking at Facebook, Instagram, news sites, apps, games, YouTube videos. So we need to t change the way that we think about media. Rather than plan in keywords and specific placements, let's actually think about audiences and that audience's behavior. We've spoken a couple of times about all of the different tags that can be used across the different ad platforms. So for example, Facebook, Instagram pixels, Twitter pixels, LinkedIn pixels, all of these common advertising platforms have the ability to place a bit of code on your website and what that enables us to do is to then follow audiences wherever wherever they're hanging out online so imagine that you're on Facebook and then you visit a, visit a, a website when you then switch to YouTube or Twitter or any other channel as long as all of these pixels are deployed on your website it's possible to fo follow that audience wherever they're hanging out whatever their behavior is online so talking specifically about the e-commerce stack within Google, there's a whole bunch of different options here. So typically branded search would be the thing that you need to start with, which is making sure that for your own brand terms, you're dominating the mobile screen. Sadly, SEO is often not enough to make sure that you're getting the lion's share of mobile traffic. On top of branded search, you can then introduce audiences. So imagine all of the people that have hung out on your website and not taken a purchase or action, you can then remarket to those people with branded search. Next up, we've got dynamic display. So you've all seen these ads that follow you around. Whether you've been to a big e-commerce store, you will then be reserved an ad which is specific to the products that you've looked at and may offer even uh, special offers or product alternatives. Google Shopping is obviously a big channel. Um, depending on the value of the product that you're trying to sell, it's quite common that people will search for the best prices using Google Shopping and then go straight from that search result to your website. Then there's generic search. So we've spoken about branded search, which is people searching on your branded keywords. But then there's a whole bunch of generic search terms that you may want to go after. So for example, if you're selling beds and mattresses, it might be that you create campaign, campaigns that specifically target uh, bed sets and mattress keywords as one example. Then we have Google Display Network, um, and this is really just an awareness channel where you can serve massive impressions to people with a rich uh, visual ad and kind of make sure that your funnel is always full with new visitors. Then the remarketing machine will work across all of the different things I've described, and you can start to serve that audience more than one message. If you think about the old radio days, it would take you four or five listens before you would actually remember what a... Uh, ad is about and who the brand is and digital's no different which is why people talk about reach and frequency it's all very well having massive reach but you also need frequency in order for people to a understand your brand trust your brand and then take actions then lastly video video is obviously a massive platform for um, digital not just YouTube there's plenty of other um, channels and different media sites that deploy video ads and don't underestimate just how powerful they can be in actually landing a message. Think of the old TV days and the radio days. Video is that online equivalent and is a really great way of actually educating people in a short snippet. So just moving through the Google stack. So dynamic display we've spoken about. That's mostly around retargeting people with specific products or product alternatives that they have consumed or that you wish to offer them. There's Google Shopping. So typically a list of items in a list from lots of different retailers. Very much a price game, but important that you're there if your brand or your competitors are also in the Google Shopping space. Then we have generic search or branded search. So the typical ads that you, you would see where you're bidding on keywords. And then we have GDN awareness ads, which come in lots of different shapes, sizes and formats. And these ads are very effective at following your audience wherever they hang out online. Lastly, video, which we've already spoken about, a really useful platform for education and driving interaction. 
Lastly, I just want to talk, touch on uh, the different types of audiences. So Google kind of works uh, in a funnel. So at the top we have a affinity or rather demographic type audiences. As an example, that would be people who are interested in, uh, I don't know, leisure and holidays. Massive, massive reach, but not necessarily matched to someone's intent or behavior. The next level down, we have in-market audiences. This is where Google is looking at your search behavior and identifying that you're actively researching a product and therefore you're classed as in-market or ready to purchase that uh, particular product or service. Custom intent audiences are very much the same, uh, just at a more specific level rather than a broad category like searching for an SUV or a 4x4 car. They will be more specific around, I don't know, individual makes, models or uh, variations of a vehicle. Then we have remarketing, and then lastly you have, we have the ability to create audience segments, so based off specific um, actions on your website. So that's it in terms of a quick overview of how the Google stack works, and just remember that audience planning is key, and remember to use your Google Analytics to identify user behavior for effect effective remarketing campaigns.